Hey everybody, so I just want to tell you how awesome Mexican healthcare is and how grateful I am for it and how I'm a little anxious about going back to the U.S. because of just how horrible the healthcare system is. Um, so my husband this past week was diagnosed with salmonella. Before that he had a stomach bug, before that he had parasites. So he's really been through it. But um, our primary care doctor is here and if you don't know how things work here, um, doctor's offices are not like in America. They're super small. Um, you walk in, there's no receptionist. It's usually just the doctor. It's just the doctor. And usually they have a small pharmacy where they are. Some of the bigger chain pharmacies, um, they have their own doctor that you can see. And right now the going rate is 50 pesos, which is roughly $3. Um, so it's very affordable for everyone here. Even though the cost of living here is much lower, it's not proportional in terms of the cost of health care. It's way, way, way cheaper than you pay in America. And it's very efficient. So anyway, um, our doctor just has her own office. Sorry, my dogs are making noise. Shh. Um, anyway, uh, our doctor charges roughly 15 to $20, or about four or 500 pesos, um, a little less sometimes, 300 pesos for just a normal visit. Um, anyway, so my husband started throwing up the other night, terrible diarrhea, it was really scary. I texted her at 10 p.m. She texted me right back, was telling me what to do. She uh, ordered us some labs, told me which lab to go to so we could do a stool sample. We took a stool sample there uh, the next day and uh, everything was super efficient. She just said, tell them you're here on, on part of Dr. Fabiola or whatever. Um, you know, tell them what's going on and they'll get you in. And so it was super efficient. She has been available almost 24 seven. He had to see a gastroenterologist and they gave him antibiotics. He started having a reaction to the antibiotics. I texted her and that gastroenterologist, but, um, again, she has not charged anything for any of this. The labs we had to pay, we had to pay the lab, but we didn't pay her. We have not paid her for any advice she has given any of the hours of her time over this past week. I have said, please let me pay you. And she has said, no, don't worry about it. So, and she is wealthy. It's not like they don't make anything here. Doctors have huge houses and a nice standard of living, but they don't have to go through all this insurance junk. There's no such thing as a referral here. You just get what you need when you need it. And so I'm just super grateful for that. Uh, and super grateful for her, and I'm definitely going to miss this type of relationship uh, when we go back to the U.S.